What are those specific terms that come to your mind when someone talks about bullet trains? Faster speed, better interconnectivity, improved infrastructure and easier transportation, right? And we all think of all these terms essentially because of the fact that these are the top features of a bullet train. It was in September 2017 that the Prime Minister laid the foundation stone of the bullet train project that would connect Mumbai with Ahmedabad. Over three years after the Prime Minister laid the foundation stone of India's first Mumbai Ahmedabad high speed rail corridor, the work on second such rail corridor in the country along the Delhi Varanasi route has definitely gained a lot of momentum. So, before we actually dwell into the other parts, or rather say the more complicated parts of this particular project, let's first quickly take a view of what are the top features of the Delhi Varanasi high speed rail corridor. The detailed project report, which is also called as the DPR, for the Delhi Varanasi High Speed Rail Corridor was submitted to the Ministry of Railways on the 29th of October 2020. And according to this proposed plan, the Delhi Varanasi Rail Corridor will connect the national capital Delhi with cities such as Agra, Mathura, Prayagraj, Varanasi, Itawa, Lucknow, Ayodhya, Rai Bareli, and Badohi. The main corridor, approximately 800 km, will also be connected to Ayodhya. The rail route will also connect the upcoming Jewar International Airport in the Gautam Buddh Nagar district of Uttar Pradesh. It would cost Rs 1200 for Agra and Rs 3400 for Varanasi from the national capital in the Delhi Varanasi bullet train, as the detailed project report of the proposed high speed corridor has suggested so far. The DPR prepared by the National High Speed Rail Corporation or the NHS RCL has kept the train fare for Lucknow at Rs 2300 and Rs 2900 for Ayodhya. Aiming at reducing the travelling time between the major cities of the country, the high speed corridors are being planned across the country. There are various features like for example the project cost, the paying capacity, the type of patrons in the route that are taken into account to decide the fare structure along the route. According to Railways, the indicated fares of the Delhi Varanasi High Speed Corridor are ranging between, say, 1.3 to 1.5 times of the executive class fares running in these particular sections. The Delhi Varanasi High Speed Rail Corridor will cover landscapes like densely populated urban and rural areas, roads, highways, rivers, ghats, and the green fields. The Delhi station will be at Sarai Kalekha. The NHS RCL has deployed the Light Detection and Ranging Survey, which is also known as the LIDAR technique, using laser-enabled equipment mounted on a helicopter for the ground survey of this particular project. This technology provides for all the ground details and data in 3 to 4 months, when this process on a normal basis takes about 10 to 12 months. The alignment or ground survey is a very critical activity for any linear infrastructure project, as this survey provides accurate details of areas around the alignment project. This technique uses a combination of laser data, GPS data, flight parameters and actual photographs to give the actual survey or the accurate survey data. As per the nine standard benchmarks set by the Survey of India in this particular field, 86 master control points and 350 secondary control points have been established and these coordinates are being used for flying the aircraft on the Delhi Varanasi high speed rail corridor alignment. To provide clearer pictures of the structures, trees, and say other minute details, 60 megapixel cameras are being used for the LIDAR survey. During the aerial LIDAR survey, 300 meters of area around the proposed alignment is being captured for the survey purpose. After the collection of this specific data, a three dimensional topographical map of 50 meters corridor on either side of the proposed alignment will be made available for designing of the vertical and the horizontal alignment, structures, location of the stations, land requirement for the corridor, identification of project affected plots and structures. With the commencement of the aerial ground survey from Greater Noida, the proposed bullet train between Delhi and Varanasi, the work on this particular ambitious high speed rail corridor project in this section has definitely gained a lot of momentum. And this is a development that could manifest into a big connectivity and an even more bigger infrastructure boost, not just for Delhi or just for Varanasi, but for all the cities that it will pass through and especially for Ayodhya.
which is all geared up to witness the grandeur of the Ram Mandir.